<sighs> so simple. Roll some clips. Good morning. So the Insta360 ONE X, I've had this a little while now. Um, yep, it's great. However, there's one thing that occasionally holds me back from, I guess, using it and getting getting more out of it than I'd like to, and that's uh, the software, both softwares. Uh, now, photos, photos are easy. You just reframe it how you want on your phone and export it straight out of there into, say, Lightroom, or like most of the time, I just use Snapseed and it works fine. Uh, videos. Videos on the mobile app are an absolute nightmare. It's really fiddly to use, it's really slow and laggy. Uh, it, so I just avoid it altogether. So I've been using the desktop software, the Insta360 Studio, and it's it's no better. One, there is basic features missing that are actually in the mobile app, which makes absolutely no sense to me, but oh well. And two, um, actually let's go back a second. Um, so this, all of this is pretty much just about using, say, you know, your overcapture. So your reframing of shots later, etc., stuff like that. Because you can obviously import like a whole 360 video into say Premiere Pro or any other video editing program. It's it's you know that's simple. So overcapture. So as I've mostly been using all the video with this, I'm using like overcapture and reframing methods, stuff like that. Um obviously using the Insta360 Studio on the desktop and then editing that in another program later. That's adding one extra layer of compression and you know, it's, it's not great. So the whole time I've been sort of, I guess wondering, and it just, just hasn't clicked in my head, like why is it not coming out? Like, I guess how it looked when it first came out of the camera and just something just was not clicking in my head that you've just added a whole layer of compression to that video. But, I went on the internet yesterday and I, I guess I figured it out. I found a plugin for Premiere Pro um, that allows you to do, I guess, the entirety of what Insta360 Studio does, but directly importing the videos to Premiere Pro using, I think it's uh, the like no stitch workflow. And it's great. So it's just a really quick video because this, this took me ages to find and I could not literally find anything else or any other plugin that work, you know, to be able to do this. It was driving me insane. I just happened to come across one yesterday. So I'm guessing that there's other people out there that are probably having the same problem here and there like I was. So just very quickly, I'm just gonna run through um, where to download it from and then just give you a quick overview in Premiere Pro of how it works. Let's go. Now I forgot to mention we're actually using, it's actually the GoPro Fusion plugin for Premiere Pro. So easy. I already have it saved there. So just type in like GoPro VR plugin, Premiere 2019, something like that. Uh, the second link down, I'll add this link obviously in the description down below. But it works just the same. Uh, scroll down, where is it? Current download link for Adobe Premiere Pro CC, blah, blah, and After Effects. Click on that. And down here somewhere, there we are. Adobe Premiere and After Effects VR plugins. Uh, on Windows, obviously. Now, I've already downloaded, it, downloaded this, so go ahead and just save it. And then from it there, easy, obviously, open. Premiere. Okay, so we're in Premiere Pro. Now, I should also add, now I've just saved this in the background somewhere. I've saved it here, like GoPro VR plugin, there it is. You have to um, actually double click on it, go through the steps to, I guess, allow it to activate. And then if you have plugins enabled in Premiere Pro, which um, if you're here, still here by this point, you should obviously know how to enable, um, it'll, it'll pick it up automatically. So I've got just my clip in there, so you just grab one, as when you're rendering, it'll actually uh, stitch it for you in the background. Right, it's a little bit grey as I recorded that clip in log. Let's get rid of the audio. And then it's as simple as this. Go to the effects panel. God, this is running slow. 
type in GoPro uh, VR. We have a couple options here. Horizon, oh, it's straight in Horizon. Uh, GoPro VR reframe, drag that onto it. And then it'll open up on the side here. And then here we have all our controls. Look at this. Field of view, also zoom out to your tiny planet. You have your yaw. It's actually really cool. There's actually a couple little extra features that you can't do in the Insta360 Studio app, which is awesome. And I'm looking forward to playing with. You can actually do an infinite roll. Look at that. And then obviously if you want to, you know, pinpoint it to different angles, etc., you're going to add your keyframes. I'll just add one for... Keyframe it. I'll just do something fun. This actually kind of simulates, I guess, what you can do with with a gimbal, really. There we are, done. Well, not really done, but you know, you get what I mean. So yeah, pretty easy. Like I said, just a really quick video. Um, just surely there's someone out there that was having the same issue I was. So just. This removes one, an extra step, so it saves time, and also, you know, you're cutting out that extra layer of compression. Obviously, more layers of compression are bad for your video. So, hope you got something out of that. Uh, that's it for this one. I'm not sure we got a plan next. The weather's pretty crappy outside, hence why I'm in the office. But, um, yeah, think of something anyway. Might take Finlay out for a walk somewhere, and I don't know, we'll figure something out. Anyway, have a good weekend. We'll talk soon. Out.